Hi, my name's Claire. Welcome to Spark Lab. Today we're going to be scientists. We're going to ask questions, test out our ideas and observe what happens. And that's going to give us lots to think about and lots to test for our next experiment. Are you ready? So I've been looking through my kitchen cupboards and I found all these things. Do you recognise any of them? We've got food colouring, some salt, some tomato sauce, corn flour, bicarb soda, vegetable oil, sugar, washing up liquid, lemon juice, some special tablets. Now remember, if you want to use tablets in your mixing at home, make sure you ask your adult's permission before getting any tablets. We've got some lemonade, some vinegar, some Vegemite, some shaving foam and toothpaste, some baby oil and some orange juice. So these are all substances that you've got at home. And another name for them is chemicals. So what do you think would happen if we mix them together? Let's find out. So what would you choose to mix together? I think I'm going to choose oil and tomato sauce. How much oil do you think we should add? I reckon halfway is about enough. So let's add our tomato sauce. What did you notice happening when we added our tomato sauce? Our tomato sauce has all sunk to the bottom of our oil, hasn't it? And it hasn't really mixed together. Shall we try mixing it? What do you think is going to happen? I can see that our tomato sauce is now floating in our oil. But it hasn't really changed very much. We have a mixture of tomato sauce and oil, but not many other changes. I wonder if when we mix our other chemicals together, if they would behave in the same way, or if they might be different. Let's mix some other things together and find out. This time, I think I'm gonna choose bicarb soda and food coloring. I'm going to go for red because that's my favourite colour. Which one would you put in first? I'm going to start with the food colouring. And now I'll add the bicarb soda. That should be enough. So what happened to our food colouring? If I look down at the top, I can't see it. But if I hold it up, I can see all of our food colouring is still underneath. It hasn't really mixed with our bicarb soda at all. I wonder if we add another chemical, if we can get our bicarb soda and food colouring to mix. Which chemical would you add? I think I'm going to add vinegar. Should be enough. So how would you describe our vinegar? It's a clear liquid. Does it remind you of anything? It kind of looks a bit like water, doesn't it? It definitely doesn't smell like water. What do you think is going to happen when we mix this with our bicarb soda and food colouring? Let's find out. What just happened? Yeah, when we put our vinegar with our bicarb soda and food colouring, it kind of went whoosh, didn't it? I could see lots of bubbles. And if we hold it up and listen really carefully, 
I can hear it fizzing. I can hear all those bubbles popping. But where did our bubbles come from? There weren't any bubbles in our bicarb soda or in our food colouring. Are there any bubbles in our vinegar? No. So we made something new when we mixed our vinegar, bicarb soda and food colouring together. We made bubbles of gas. Now when you mix chemicals together and they have a change and they create something new, we call that a chemical reaction. I wonder if we can make any more chemical reactions. What would you choose to mix together next? I think I'd like to mix together lemon juice. And I'm going to add to that one of these tablets. Now, don't forget to ask your adult's permission before you use tablets in your mixes at home. So I'm going to add my lemon juice to my beaker. How would you describe the lemon juice? It's like a white, cloudy liquid. Now let's get our tablet. Can you have a guess or make a prediction what you think will happen when I put the tablet in the lemon juice? Let's find out. I can hear the lemon juice fizzing. And I can smell the lemon juice getting into the air as those bubbles in there are popping. But there weren't any bubbles in our lemon juice. And there weren't any bubbles in our tablet. So what do you think happened? Does it remind you of anything else that we've seen today? Yeah. It's like our mixture of bicarb soda and vinegar. We had a chemical reaction when I added the tablet into the lemon juice and we created these bubbles of gas. So we have time for one last mix. What would you like to mix together? I think I'm going to mix some sugar with our water. And this time, I'm going to use a plastic cup. When you're doing your mixing at home, you can use any container that you have. Clear cups are good because you can see what's happening inside of them. Firstly, I'll add the sugar. How would you describe our sugar? It's a white solid. And if we move it around in the light, you can almost see those crystals glistening. Does that remind you of any other chemical that we've used today? It's a little like our bicarb soda, isn't it? I wonder if it will act in the same way when we mix it with water. Let's find out. What do you notice about our sugar water mixture? Our sugar has sunk down the bottom and our water's on top. Let's mix it together and see if we can see any other changes. notice any changes? We still have some sugar down the bottom, but a lot of our sugar has disappeared. It's dissolved into our water and our water doesn't look clear anymore. It looks a little bit cloudy. This is what we call a physical change. I had lots of fun mixing today and we created some really interesting mixes. Which one was your favourite? When we mix two chemicals together, we can have a chemical change, a physical change or no change at all. Now you can collect lots of these things at home and do your own mixes. 
I have lots more questions that I want to ask and things to test out. What question would you like to test? Or what will you get to mix together? You can find all of these things in your house at home. And you can get plastic cups or glasses and mix them together yourself. Perhaps you could see if there was a change, if you added more or less of our chemicals. Or what if you mix more than three chemicals together? Or could you find a way to collect the gas that's made during your chemical reactions? So don't forget to write down or draw a picture of your experiments so you have a record of your discoveries and the mixes that you've tried. And always remember, science can get a bit messy. So wear an art spark or an apron and have your towel on hand. Also, always have an adult to help you when you're collecting your items from around the house or doing your mixing. We'd love to see the experiments that you do, so don't forget to tag us in your pictures and videos at hashtag SparkLabQM. I can't wait to see the mixes that you create.